and DTE is still working to restore power to thousands of homes across the area. Today's day four with no power for many residents in the northern part of Dearborn. 7 Action News reporter Nana Sancho Bonsu is live with more on the wait for electricity and the days ahead for families recovering from the flooding. Nana. Yes, guys, there are several people right here on the street on Donald who are waiting for their lights to come back on. You can see there are crews behind me working to restore power, not just in the homes, but there's a traffic light the next street over that's been off for a while as well. One man tells me just seeing the crews outside his home gives him some kind of hope that the lights will be back on. This is where you stay now. Most best four days. Mike Kahala's garage is now his bedroom, living room, closet and kitchen. Is it cooler here? It's not, but it's better than inside. There is currently no power, which means no AC inside his home on Nickel Street. It's very hot. It's very hot. This is video of his flooded basement on Saturday morning. He put his family in a motel while he stays in the house so he can keep an eye on everything. I've been living in this. That's why in my yeah, <laughs> all the time. Others just a couple blocks down on Middlesex Street have power, but the several feet of flood water damaged a lot of people's AC units. Furnace went out, hot water tank went out. Uh, we had to throw away all our furniture. This was the inside of Mustafa Al Musami's family home. You can see how high the water got, almost covering the freezer and oven. Outside of his home, just like many others, you see damaged furniture, carpet, and appliances. He tells me the damage will cost his family thousands of dollars. At least probably six to eighty thousand. The city of Dearborn has a number that people can text the word flood to. They will be redirected to a website where they can report damage. That data in the form will help the city's FEMA application. If a federal disaster is called, people will be required to fill out claim forms through federal agencies. But right now, the immediate need for families is food. Vegetables, um, milk, um, eggs. Maria Villa Gomez lost most of her food in the fridge when the power went out. Well, I just spent $200 not even this weekend on groceries that was my budget for the week. She stopped by this food distribution site hosted by gleaners at the Ford Community and Performing Arts Center. But by the time she and many others arrived, they were all out of food. Gleaner says they provided food to about 250 households. It's not over. No, it's, it's a long run still. We still have weeks and weeks of cleanup. Now, Gleaner says if you weren't able to get your hands on some food today, dial 211 for a list of their distribution sites. Also, the ACC Community Health Center will also have a food distribution site Thursday starting at 10 o'clock. We'll have all those details on our website and additional resources for anyone in need. For now, for 7 Action News, I'm Nana Sintio Bonsu. Nana, thank you so much for the update from out there in Dearborn.